Welcome to the 10 Minute Life Coach Podcast, uh, post mortem as it still is. This is technically episode number 152. This is life lesson or after episode number 02. We're not sure how many of these will go. And as we did in last week, although we have a little better idea of how it'll actually work out, we're not exactly sure how the format, if you will, this thing will go. I'm Jay Cleveland Payne, still giving you, in a sense, the 10 minute life coaching in this lesson form. But these are lessons that are Oddly enough, mostly for me, it's the post-mortem. I'm trying to do some after action on my life as a 10-minute life coach and, in a sense, document some things. And doing that, I'm doing it in an audio version. It's something that seems kind of cool, seems like the right thing to do because I do things in audio for the podcasting and to turn it into something written eventually. So what's going to come down is the lessons I learned from 150 episodes of publishing the 10-minute life coach podcast. And this is a part of it. So you're free to stay tuned and listen as the insights, if they will, come through here on the microphone to you in the podcast form. As we said, there is no real form or function left for the website for the podcast. In fact, I did not update the website with the podcast last week. The feeds are still there. So if you're looking for personal development information, look for me at either jclevenpain.net, my main website, which we're working on as well. And of course, where the home for personal development from me now lives at yourbetteryou.info, including the podcast, Steps Your Better You, and the book, Quick Steps Your Better You. So one lesson that's not quite documented, not on the full listing I have so far, and may or may not turn into something, is that it's hard to let go of this thing. It really is difficult to have this hole in your heart and holding your schedule that should be easily filled by other things. In fact, there are plenty of other things that are taking up space. But there's still a place in my heart for where I should be working on this podcast, which is probably why for the next 10, 12 weeks or so, as long as we can keep up with the ideas. I've got 12 distinct ideas for the chapters right now. I'm still kind of editing and tweaking as it goes along. This thing may still keep living. And they'll be free form. They'll be rambly. And last week's was close to 30 minutes as opposed to the 10 minutes of life lessons that we had before. And the sales pitch may be in the middle of the yakking because I can edit it out when I'm going through. So, as we said, stick around if you want to. If you're sort of done with me, we appreciate all you were able to give to us in the 150 or maybe 151 episodes prior. And we thank you. Hopefully you'll take us on our new adventures, our new places. If not, have a great life. But in the meantime, the lesson for this week is a lesson that was pretty quick to understand once you actually got into it, uh, because basically you get slapped in the face with this thought and it becomes something that haunts you for a while until you just get over it. And that's pretty simply that creativity can be overrated. So why do I come to that conclusion? Why did I come to that conclusion over 150 episodes? Actually, fairly early into the process of the episodes and definitely hit hard as we took the hiatus around 144. Well, if you are a creative person, if you're used to creating new things or doing things, especially on the fly, you know that creativity is not so much the magic that comes out of your head. It's really all your past experience rolled up into the ability to pull something magically out of your head when the right need arises, when the situation comes for something. And so creativity, as far as writing a more or less new episodes, though the topics are, do get recycled, the, the actual titles and the main points get shifted back and forth. Coming up with a brand new something every single week, especially having it tightened out as tight as it was at 10 minutes or nine minutes or so for lessons, was a big deal. It was really a big deal early on when I was doing the sales pitch, long sales pitch form stuff and the extra stuff in that, the 20-minute long episodes as opposed to the 12-minute long episodes because all that stuff had to be scripted. The entire episode, the entire podcast was scripted. So it was a six, seven-page script that turned into a 20-page something at the end of the recording. And that got hard because that takes time. That takes effort. And from what I could tell, although it was a little deceiving, I wasn't getting the listener response that I should. And should is the real word because I was getting listeners. I was getting some response, but I wasn't making millions and millions of dollars, which, of course, the Internet tells you happens when you make a podcast. That wasn't happening, and I wasn't getting as much verbal response as other other people were getting with the side note that 
I didn't have as many followers and maybe my followers just were silent. So without all that feedback, it was hard to really know what was going on and hard to know what was resonating, what wasn't. Luckily, in the second edition, we were able to find better ways to get feedback instantly from some things, and it made the work a little easier. But the creativity on it became overrated pretty quickly. It became quick and easy, pretty simple to figure out that personal development, life coaching, if you will, it's all about fundamentals. There are some basic tenets that work out. In fact, we start off with the basic tenet of going over the SMART goals, something that's gone over and over again, although not quite in vogue so everyone isn't throwing the smart goals out every single week but every so often someone will pull that chestnut back out and reuse it again so if podcasting was about learning how to do something that was all in the system and creativity in creating the podcast for live coaching was all about enforcing the fundamentals it was literally about repeating the same general things over and over again until every so often you had some special event type idea to pop in there and then going back to the well for the other stuff. It's not that complicated. You're doing repetition. Repetition turns into, turns into repetition. Repetition seems to be the big thing that I'm doing a lot in a lot of different settings. And no, I'm not going to edit that out. This is just going to be just like it is. But the repetition of something the repetition in practice of doing a thing gets you better at it in most cases. Some cases, bad practice and bad form gets you worse at it in theory, but you get better in the concept of what's going on. So coming up with current, well, completely original ideas every single week was not necessary because none of this is completely original. All the things that were coming from, all the ideas I was having was coming from things happening in life. Just something bugged me uh, one week, so I'd write down some notes, and then a few weeks later, it's time to record an episode, and those notes turn into a full-fledged idea for a 10-minute lesson. It's that simple. You didn't have to go and reinvent the wheel every single time we had to sit before the microphone. We didn't have to come out and come with some kind of life-changing epiphany every single time, because every single episode is not meant to be an epiphany, and every single episode cannot be an epiphany for everyone. As I say often, if you're getting an epiphany every time you come in contact with a certain speaker or a certain concept or a certain place, then you're not working your epiphanies very well. Plus, what exactly was I offering? The simple answer is a life lesson in 10 minutes in a podcast called the 10 Minute Life Coach Podcast. That's it. It didn't have to be all that overly creative. It just had to be a life lesson provided in 10 minutes inside the podcast. It turned into a nine-minute thing that's based on the actual timing as it goes along. And maybe two, three minutes on the back end for whatever salesy stuff happened. But that was it. A life lesson. And just not the same life lesson every week. And so not the same one every other week so it doesn't get too boring. But they're the same general standard life lessons taught in the podcast. Now, these are not the same general, simple life lessons taught in actual coaching and training and talks and conversations on the phone. Those things get deeper, more detailed, and those are really tailored towards where you are and what's going on in your life. We can't fix the problem until we start to find a diagnosis of what could be the issue. And then sometimes you find out it's something outside of the actual issue. It's not what you think it is. It's not what looks like the obvious thing, but it's something causing the obvious thing to be the red herring and as obvious things. So creativity wasn't all that necessary. You just had to kind of go through and look at what was there, see what the problem was, and walk, talk it back, walk it through, see what issues were there. And then whatever was wrong, that's what we were going to work on. I didn't have a magic formula for anything. I didn't have a, a secret weapon, if you will, for much of anything. I've got a bunch of formulas. I got a bunch of charts. I got a bunch of processes. But it starts with asking questions, asking simple questions from one area and just asking until you get some sort of answer or in some cases until you don't get some sort of answer, which is where, you know, the problem may lie. Creativity is not something I'm necessarily lacking. I'm creating something every day. I'm writing snippets of things every single day. So it may not be massive, but I am always creating, always publishing, always making something. But the creativity in this podcast turned out to be, as we said, overrated. And it can be very overrated in the world. 
There are 26 letters in the English alphabet, and they get used over and over again by everyone who speaks it, writes it, and says it, and hears it. Every single word of prose in English uses the same 26 letters in various combinations, including combinations that don't really exist as words until, you know, five years in the dictionary decides to put them in there. And, of course, because the Internet, vowels are sort of non necessary in many cases now. But creativity, as far as creating new things from the same thing, is what life's all about. You have your source material, and we go with it. The main source material I had was years and years of reading self-help stuff and listening to other personal development gurus and, of course, dealing with things in life and learning and documenting and learning again. Because I had such interest in self-help and in writing, I've been writing different newsletters and different sorts of uh, source material for these type of issues. I may not have had the big, long background, the big, crazy story, uh, you know, starting from poverty and make my way up to a big time superstar. But, you know, I had my share of ups and downs. I went through plenty of things and known people who have. And, of course, the big thing that is told in these personal development things, which they try to sell you on, is learn from their experience. And I had a chance to learn from the experience of many different people, real life teachers and people in books who were trying to sell me something as well. So that in itself also wasn't a problem for creativity. I didn't have to come up with real problems or at least my own real problems. I had plenty of other people with very real problems on their own. So from a chronicle standpoint, looking at the length of this chapter, assuming I don't have to split up the first chapter, the first episode I had of this after show, this lessons learned issue of the podcast, it looks like this chapter is going to be very, very short or at least a lot shorter than the other one will. I guess this lesson is a pretty simple one to convey, a pretty simple one to digest, is that creativity is overrated. Sometimes having the thought that you must do something outstanding, over outstanding, overwhelming, just something just so great that it has to stand out to the high heavens is a fallacy. Sometimes it's just a matter of having good stuff and repeating the good stuff in a non-boring manner over and over again. I think that's something that I did do with this podcast. 150 episodes is a lot of podcasting. It's a lot of episodes. And when your theme is fairly simple, just basic life coaching. And like I said earlier, we can get into deeper detailed stuff one on one. But the basic stuff over and over again needs to be reinforced because different people are coming in and out of the podcast at different times. Some people live with it for a full stretch. Some people don't. And of course, just like you find if you are a regular goer of church, Sometimes the message that is being conveyed is not the message that you necessarily need to hear that day, but you assume that somebody down the line, somebody other in the other pew, somebody a few seats back probably did need that same message. So you probably just got a little bit of great entertainment while they got the life changing message that they needed. And maybe next week it's all about you. So creativity is obviously overrated in a lot of things there. So that's wrapping this thing up. We've done no extra production, no extra work. We've trimmed a couple of edges here or there for some pauses to make this one coherent, if you can call it coherent, at least one long single recording. But other than that, this podcast will live on as long as it lives on. We've got about 12 more or less uh, titles for chapters right now. And as we work things out and work some notes on them, writing them up as we're working into this audio log, as you, you hear you will find that we'll see how long this thing goes. The 10-Minute Life Coach, as we've been saying, is dead. The podcast and the brand is dead, or at least it's dying. Uh, we're just using this to gather some last bit of information, some lessons learned, some after-action work to see how it works for me, and hopefully you get something out of it as well. If you want to contact me, email me at jclevenpain at gmail.com or visit the website jclevenpain.net. You can also check out yourbetteryou.info where all the new stuff that I'm doing for personal development, and a lot of it is quicker, easier, and pithier. I'm not sure if it really that word really fits into the language here, but I just used it. It's quicker, easier, and pithier to get into the stuff there. Of course, that podcast, only 90 seconds of information, 90 seconds of learning, so even faster on the draw for that. Hopefully, you are picking up that one into your rotation and drawing from the lessons learned in that one. In the meantime, more lessons learned from the lessons learned 
from podcasting 150 episodes of the 10 Minute Life Coach. Coming down the line, as long as we have the ideas and the time, we'll keep on putting these things out till we produce whatever it is that will be produced. Thank you for listening to all or as many of 150 that you did before. Thank you for listening to this sort of ragamuffin after action one. And if we have one next week, be here next week and get more insights on how this thing was done in raw, real time, very little editing, very little very little uh, planning, if you will, uh, going over the lines of how this whole thing happened, what we learned from doing all these things here from the 10-Minute Life Coach.